Hello students, welcome back. Students, we are learning basic concept in geometry chapter. Now, today we are going to learn about lines. See, an infinite number of lines can be drawn to one point. For example, look here. For example, I draw a point here. I draw a line. This is line P. I draw another line through this point. Name L. Another one A. So through that point, you can draw a number of lines, or you can say infinite lines. Means uncountable lines we can draw. Now here. Another one property is there about the lines that is one and only one line passes through any two given points means one and only one line that is passes through different point look here for example these are the two points I give the name OP hmm? so through this point according to our property one and only one line passes through any two points. So only one line passes through this point. Okay. That is this line we can name line L. Understood? So I repeat again these two properties. First is an infinite numbers. Infinite means uncountable. Numbers of lines can be drawn through one point. So this is the point we name here also O. So from this O point, many lines, infinite lines you can draw. You can draw like this way, this way. Many lines you can draw. Second point, one and only one line passes through any two given points. For example, here point O, point P. Only one line passes through this point. Now students, there are types of lines. The first type is concurrent lines and the definition is when two or more lines pass through the same point they are called concurrent lines and their point of intersection is called point of concurrence. Now see here student again Concurrent lines when two or more lines passes through the same point for example here I draw a point a Through this point Two or more lines for example one line passes Through this point Okay, another of x y z so here line x line y line z these lines are passes through one point so this x y z these three lines you can say these lines are concurrent lines okay and the point of intersection where the lines are intersect that is called points of intersection and here the point of intersection is a understood now i'll repeat again when two or more lines pass through the same point same point here point is a they are called concurrent lines their point of intersection is called the point of concurrence this a is called point of concurrence point of concurrence where the intersect that is called point of concurrence now we will move to the second type or another next type of line that is parallel lines parallel see parallel for example my this hand and this hand so these are parallel see parallel parallel okay a definition of parallel lines 
lines in the same plane which do not intersect each other are called parallel lines. Plane means not aeroplane. Plane means a flat surface. Lines in the same plane which do not intersect each other are called parallel lines. So, for example, I draw here a line. Uh, this line J and this line P. Okay, so line J and P. This arrowhead indicates this J line is uh, moving to this side. This P arrowhead is showing that this uh, P is line are increasing and moving to the upper side. This arrowhead down to the side and this arrowhead down to the side. But these two lines J and P never intersects. See students, for example, uh, you saw railway tracks. If you watch carefully, there is a gap between the uh, this, uh, railway tracks. And these are the lines, means two tracks are in straight, but they never meet each other, they never intersect each other. So that is called, that is the example of parallel lines. And here, lines in the same plane which do not intersect. These lines are going to the upward direction, downward direction, but they never intersect, they never meet each other. So these lines are called parallel lines. Parallel lines, the lines, they never intersect. That is called parallel lines. Okay, now we'll move uh, to the next point that is intersecting lines. Okay, now intersecting lines, as the word indicates, intersecting means cross intersect each other. Now, if two lines are not parallel, here these two lines are not parallel and they intersect at a point, such lines are called intersecting lines. See. Uh, maybe some of you <coughs> like kite flying and uh, maybe your friend you are uh, flying the kite from your terrace and all your friends is on the terrace and they are flying the kites and you are playing one game I don't know the English word but maybe in Hindi or Marathi you say kata kati when the kites are flying so your thread is come from this side and your friends and then you are pulling your that threads and maybe one cut whose power is more that thread cut and this kite also cut so that is when you are this threads of your both maybe you and your friends kite that is going cross that is intersects same here student if two lines are not parallel and they intersect at a point such lines are called intersecting for example look here this is a line k Okay, these lines are not parallel. So another line I draw T. So this K and T are not parallel. Okay, <coughs> and they intersect at a point. So they intersect point O. We give the name O. Okay, so line T and line K they intersect at a point O. So point O is called point of intersection. Point of intersection. In concurrent lines, we learn point of concurrence. Where the lines going through the points in concurrence lines, that is called point of concurrence. Intersecting lines, <coughs> the point of intersection is called here. The point O is called the point of intersection. Understood? So see students, again, we learn today concurrent, of, concurrent lines, parallel lines and intersecting lines. Now I hope whatever the teaching part of this chapter is over. Now in the next video, we are going to learn the practice sets. Okay students, till then, take care. Bye bye.